The next president of Hamilton College has big shoes to fill. The college has made great progress over the last decade in improving its academic uh, reputation, the quality of the students, the physical uh, plant that we have, and we needed a leader that was going to be able to continue that tradition and even take us to the next level. We had a uh, large and diverse pool of candidates that applied for the job, and when we ended up with the finalists who we interviewed, there was large enthusiasm from this group. There were an enormous number of candidates that came forward for the position, and they range geographically from diversity, male, female, ethnic minorities, and it really was uh, an enormously talented pool, but it was harder than any CEO search that I've ever done in the corporate sector. There were so many different constituents comprised of students, faculty, administration, trustees, alumni, and all the people on the committee had to have a voice. And we wanted to make sure we really understood the needs of the college as we went through the process. So it did take almost a year from the time that Joan had told us that she was going to retire to the time that we found the right members of the committee, developed the brief, identified potential candidates, went through the screening process from the long list to the short list to get to that person that we thought was going to be best for the college. David really stood out, especially when we uh, interviewed him, and I think this was felt universally by all the committee members. He had some really uh, great attributes. One, he was intelligent, but he also had a high EQ. He connected to everybody on the committee, no matter what their backgrounds were. Secondly, he had a really strong vision of what a liberal arts education should be. I couldn't be more excited with the selection of David Whitman as our next president for Hamilton College. He has a unique background, somebody who went to a liberal arts undergraduate education, got a master's in English, decided that he wanted to go a different direction, got a law degree, became the editor-in-chief of the Yale Law Review, private practice for 10 years, then went to academia, was an associate dean of the law school at Cornell, went into uh, the government sector for the National Security Council, handled the international opportunities for Cornell University, then became dean of a law school at the University of Minnesota for eight years. Think about the diversity of experiences that that brings us. It brings us the academic credentials. It brings us the diversity of understanding the public sector, the private sector, private practice, understanding the challenges that educational institutions are facing, and he's had to face a number of issues, and I couldn't be more pleased in terms of our ability to attract somebody of that caliber. And I think he's going to be a very exciting follow-on to Joan uh, in terms of looking at how the liberal arts education will change and improve over the next uh, several decades.